Hey guys, Clyde here at Leechburg Lights. Uh, just got home a couple of hours ago from the uh, Light Up Ohio Mini. Uh, had an awesome time. Uh, learned a couple new things. Uh, got a chance to meet a bunch of new people and had a wonderful time. So I, I hope all of you all that are listening, uh, it was it was great to meet all of you. And uh, I'm, I'm getting kind of back in the seat again with a couple of videos. Uh, something that hit me. Um, while I was out there and and one of the things actually I saw um, I saw it mentioned in the group today uh, about how to do sequencing just uh, this is just kind of a 101 kind of class and uh, one, one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, take you through a sequence that I've already done but um, I'll bring the model preview up here and what I've done is I've got a song here well way up north where the air gets cold there's uh, okay, right about here is where I want to start having a sequence of arches bouncing back and forth. Now I have my arches model here. I have a left arch, a right arch, and I have my mega arch. Um, and I'm only going to sequence just my regular arches. So I have this whole line of beats. These, if I turn on the beats, uh, you can see these are the beat marks for all of the arches, uh, for all of the beats. And uh, if you don't have the uh, Queen Mary Vamp plugins, then go go download those and install those so that you can go in and add these in. But just on an empty timing grid, here's one of the things that you can do very quickly and make it very easy to sequence your arches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timing mark. I'm going to play the music, and I'm going to push the letters, the lowercase letter T, and create timing marks. And I'm going to delete some out later, and I'll show well, you. Well, way up north where the air gets cold, there's a tale about Christmas that you've all been told. And a real famous cat, all dressed up in red, and he spent the whole year working out on his sled. It's the little sa Okay, I think that should do it. Let's see where it's at here. Um, that's a pretty far stretch. So this was our first one and are we on the first one and now let's go count them I'm just gonna select this uh, a timing area and I'm gonna count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 22 23 24 25 26 um, uh, we have a couple more to do. Let's do a couple more. And you spent the whole year working out on his sled it's the little sin okay that should do it uh, that's the entire measure of do, 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 do. Anyway, um, and what I'm most interested in is exactly where it starts and exactly where the last one is going to end. Um, I believe that's it here. Yeah, right here would be the end. So now once, let's go back again and count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 4, 5, 6, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 squares. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you can use the uh, the, the uh, labels on the bars there if you want. But uh, 32 squares, basically this entire area, and that doesn't, that, that constitutes 32 uh, beats or four bars is what it is, I believe, or eight bars, something like that. Yeah, eight bars. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to create a chase effect where my arches will bounce to the left, bounce to the right, bounce to the left, bounce to the right. And now the reason why I want to make this video is because I've seen so many people take the time and use the chase feature or I've seen people use different features to make a chase and when they do they select their timing area and they make sure that the that the um, the effect is set the way they want it. They want the chase set to whatever size and then they want to cycle it one time and it's going to bounce one way now you want it to bounce back the other way so you click on the other area you change it from the opposite way and then you click and drag and now you've got the back so now you've got bam bam okay so now what they're going to do is they're going to copy right click and paste and they're going to do this the whole way along and they're going to make sure that uh, all of their all of the timings match exactly inside these little squares that they created and this is a lot of work um, so this is the way that I have learned 
to go ahead and make my chase. And this is why I counted out my beats. I know this is my start one and this is my end one. None of these matter now that I know that I have 32. So I can go in and I can delete these. Now to delete a timing mark, all we have to do is just select it, click on it with the mouse where, where you see the, the part where you can extend it out and move it. Once you are able to select it, just hit the delete button. Now, um, I'm, I actually didn't need to delete that last one, I'm just going to hit the T, and then I'm going to extend it back over, and I'm going to, what I call, complete the circuit. If you don't complete this circuit, this little break up here, you can't select this area in between. So we're going to join these two together, there we go. And now we have our entire 32 beats. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change some cha uh, effects uh, settings in our arch or in our uh, single strand uh, chase effect. Um, so first we're going to look at the type of chase that we want to do. We want to go left to right. We want to go right to left. Well, we have these other options that are here. And this bounce from left, that makes a little bit more sense because now it's going to bounce one way and come back and if I go ahead and set it to bounce like that and I go ahead and drag it I'm gonna see okay well here it's set to bounce one time over the entire distance of this whole uh, uh, 32 beats actually uh, it's 33 beats but we'll get to that in a second so let's go ahead and change this since each bounce from left to right is counted as one Let's go ahead and change this to um, uh, 16. And that looks a little bit more like our tempo. So let's go ahead and hit the play button. So 16 is half of 32. And we want one bounce, or we want one leap per half. So half of 16, or t 2 times 16 is 32. Okay, so it looks like using the exact number 16 over the 32 beats that we counted, if we just place that in place, then guess what? Our sequencing's done for this area. It literally took me about two minutes to create an entire bounce sequence just for my arches. Now what's nice about this is let's say we want to do some other type of bounce and let's put this up here and if we have 16 and we get a different kind of effect it still goes with the beat but it's now a little bit slower what if we move this to the center and and then we can also modify it to to bounce to the middle and click the update so now you have options when you think about sequencing to the beat for arches and a single strand now this doesn't just mean this works for arches let's go ahead and switch off to um, some roof lines so here's my ground lines here's my icicles here's my upper roof line um, I've got my timing mark right here. Let's go ahead and throw this chase for the lower roof line. And as you can see, and we can change the color here, as you can see, we're creating the exact same effect with if we go with a let's say let's say a bounce from left to right. And you have the same thing. And then we can even uh copy right click copy and we'll select down below you can hardly see it I'll move down here a little bit this is my upper roof line paste and the upper and the lower and that pretty much does it for uh, both models you're able to uh, 
use this chase function and instead of having multiple copies of this telling it to go okay it goes from left to right here and then from here to here right to left and then from here to here left to right and here to here right to left now what if you want to just do a continuous um, let's go ahead and delete these what if you want to do a continuous uh, um, arch where it's just going the one way and um, let's say you just want to go from left to right so let's go ahead and put that up there and you can see whoops that's a uh, wrong arch let's do this there we go this is gonna this is going to give you 16 progressions now we have 32 progressions so if we cut this in half as we did before and we copy it and we paste it Now we have Way the option. Up north where the air gets cold. There's a tale about Christmas that you've all been told. And your real famous cat, all dressed up in red. And you spent the whole year working out on his sled. It's the mid. And now that the I'll tell you the exact reason why it works with 16 on the large one on the very long time is because it's bouncing back and forth 16 iterations this is bouncing this isn't bouncing this is just standard left to right this is one circuit so you have 16 of these the maximum you can do is 20 that's as far as the slider goes so by simply knowing what the beat is and having a standard beat and going that entire distance we're able to create an effect using just one just one um, just one uh, effect loaded in place if you're looking to bounce then it's easier to go left and right count out your beats and divide that number and figure out the number that you need to enter into here now once again you'll have to break this up if you have 64 beats that you want to cover this this bounce back and forth with you're gonna to have to do this two times so that means in a longer distance you're gonna to have to cut this down or break this up into two areas but it still gives you the option of doing what you need to do with less sequencing and less time so I hope this helps guys this uh, was kind of an impromptu video but I know it's something that I I use a whole lot and saves me a significant amount of time. I hope it saves you some time too, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you and see you very soon.